What's up, everybody? Welcome to Thought Sauna. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I'm Brett. That's Sam. Hanrahan. What? That's Sam. He just, you know, he says what? You know how Sam introduced yeah. himself real quick because we're doing a 30 minute episode? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I'm Samuel Grizzly. That's the Sam. Hack and That's Smasher. Sam. The Hack and Slasher. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 Sam Samuel Risley the Hack and Smasher. <laughs> the Hack and Smasher. Sounds good, dude. That's You know it. Yeah. <laughs> now Cyan didn't study Haskins. What does that mean, you may ask? I didn't study, I didn't prepare for the second episode that much. I have my dream though, but I don't have a title. She it was very late oh. late yeah, last pop minute. quiz. So let's just move on to their first segment. No foreplay. No yeah, no, it's formalities. Not, yeah, we don't need to like finger each other or anything. And like, we're just going to go in. Let's do it. I feel it. like we just, I feel like every episode, just we just have the intro and we just prolong it. We just keep and going. And we just keep yeah. Stop. Talking. Just do what you got to do. And like, we just don't get to All right, what who goes What's first What's your then? thought? <laughs> My thought. <laughs> <laughs> this comes from Sylvan underscore M on Reddit. And it says, Shows with laugh tracks would be actually funny if the laugh track were replaced with the sound of just one guy laughing hysterically. I feel like we've had this one before. Like on the, I feel like we've had this one on the on the show before as well. Really? Yeah. I feel like we've said this one on an episode. If we said it, it was on the drunk episode because I don't remember anything like this. Welcome to this week's episode of the Thoughts on a Deja Vu. That's right. We're doing old classic thoughts, yeah. dreams, and laws. Now we're going to have a different perspective on it. Now that we're older and wiser, we're going to revisit some of those old, old iconic classic ones It's uh, and redo them. It's been six but months. But I do like the thought of like Sheldon from that bad show being like, bazongers, <laughs> and, and it's just, just one dude in the audience being like, ah, oh, <laughs> he said it! Oh, ah, 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 <laughs> Well, here's what's. The... <laughs> I feel like that would make the show a lot better. I think it would too. Like you can't hear anyone else in the show. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Like for a solid five minutes, you see the actors' vo- like mouths moving, but all you hear is this dude going, "Oh, oh, 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 oh he did it again! He did it!" Yeah, so if it's like hysterical, is it just like they just are like doing the thing when you laugh and you're just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like when you start no, doing and, that but, shit. Like, it's like ugly what, laughing. What we, the audience on the like TV, don't know is that because this man is on the big, big Bang Theory, he's being held at gunpoint to laugh. So he's really overdoing it, so that way he can go home safely to his family. It's less hysterical and more fearful. Yeah, it's it's desperate yeah. laughter. I see. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so hilarious. Please. He said the Flash. He did a Batman Flash reference, and it was funny. Big Bang Theory. It was theory. real funny. And then, like, one time he makes, like, a reference, and the dude's like, I haven't seen that show. I don't get it. Young Sheldon. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, the dude just yeah, like not know. Like, he makes a reference to a show, and the dude's like, I don't, I don't understand that. I've what, never what, seen what? Star Wars. And then you just, you, like, in, in, in the audio of the TV program, you hear the, like, him going, I don't get it. I don't get it. And then just the soft, like, cocking of a gun. Yeah. And then he goes, oh, now I get it. I, was, I see. <laughs> I imagine just the entire cast of Big Bang Theory just looks at the camera. Yeah, like, they all stop and they're all yeah. take a look at him, like, and they wait for him. It's like, yeah, this is funny. You will obey us. Laugh. Laugh now. You laugh. Fear instilled upon you. And this is this is where we put the laugh track of just, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't imagine like being an actor on a sitcom with a laugh track because then you actually do have to like just do the thing where you like say a joke and then you just have to sit there and like stare for a minute. Yeah, just like wait. Yeah, because that all all laugh tracks are pre-recorded. There's yeah. like the actors just have to sit there and wait silently for a minute in between lines. <laughs> mm. Do do they add the laugh track like in post? Yeah, in post. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh my god, I couldn't yeah, imagine. Yeah, they really do. <laughs> They're just just silent. Yeah. Just like, all right, one, two, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. 
And that's what she said. My, my throat hurts from doing that fake laugh. <laughs> it's a rough job. The person who's chosen as the laugher, they, he's got a long road ahead of him. Yeah, like her. Yeah, like like you know how like like oh yeah, being the president or like playing football ages you faster. Yeah, like and everyone knows like if you like go to cosm if you do or if you're a cosmetologist, you're gonna get like carpal tunnel sooner. Mm-hmm. And like if if <laughs> yeah. If you're the laugh track guy for Big Bang Theory, you're gonna get throat damage within five to ten years. It's just gonna happen. Like oh, after a forty year career of being why? the laugh track guy, you're gonna go out and you're, you're throat. Throat. never gonna be the same, you know? Yeah. Stop. Uh throat. That's the clean tick I'm gonna put over what you said. Yeah. So I'm just gonna edit throat when I said throat and I'm just gonna put it well, where you, you don't said like throat. throat. No, I don't actually. Not at all. Honestly, I'll be I'll be a hundred percent with you. I don't, actually. Throat. Okay. You said throat. throat. You said throat again. No, I, yeah. Which is weird. Yeah. But. <laughs> no, but yeah, you get you get throat, throat damage. <laughs> when you're when you're the laugh track man. Yeah. <laughs> it just happens. And you know your hair goes gray and like, you you like start like not taking care of yourself because the cameras are never on you you're just paid for like your voice yeah so you don't like you start like not keeping up with your with your like you know how you look yeah and it just happens to everyone <clears throat> everyone um, everybody has to do it i'm still like though. trying to like clear my throat a bit <laughs> Let me see it's tough you got to go through like practices there are only like there have only been like three chosen laugh men. Yeah, same. You, you, if you do it amateur, you're gonna damage your throat yeah, doing that because you're not doing the right technique. You like this. These people have to go to school for mm-hmm. like they say it's not a real career, but you have to go to school for years to like not just learn technical laughing mm-hmm. stuff, but like how to do it without destroying your throat, throat within like the first two years that you're a professional laugh track guy. It's why it's why I need to go to these voice acting workshops. Do you think that the like the <clears throat> the joke of because I remember a lot of people make the comment on you brett and on me that when we tell jokes in a sarcastic tone no one really reads them as jokes so i feel like people listening to this podcast is like oh yeah it's a really boring podcast people talking about throat damage from laughing too hard like people aren't going to realize that i'm like being satir like satirical like you think people are like oh yeah the one man laugh track is real like they've done the research. No, it's like talk. This is a thing that's happening. You'd be amazed with how many like jokes like this where I just start talking about them, and if I talk for longer than five minutes about it in this sarcastic tone, then they're like, "I've forgotten the context, and now everything you're saying <laughs> <Yeah>. is serious." <laughs> like people do that oh, to me, me all the time, and I'm like, "No." <laughs> I do. I do also forget to like. You got to put in a little sarcastic tone somewhere in there. Yeah, if you to, just like, remind people, if you just like. Take every if you just pretend that everything is serious, people are gonna think you're being serious, and I forget about that. Yeah, but I've also gotten to a point. Yeah, it's not good. Where there will be like a very few selective people that I don't care. Like if they like, I want to keep them confused. Yeah, Mortales, if y'all are listening to this, I'm talking about you. I'm out for your blood. I'm coming for your throats. <laughs> don't sleep tonight. <laughs> but I just deadpan. Just say the most ridiculous stuff that is obviously not true. That's like my favorite thing. Yeah. It's like saying stuff that is so obviously like not true and it's like right in front of you of your face like this is fake and being 100% confident about it. I love doing that and people and, and people will always be like, wait, for real? <laughs> and I'm like, no. No, not yeah, like, for real. Yeah, I died when I was 14 because I got hit by a car and I possessed someone else's body and uh, I died then too. I'm on the floor right there. Ah! And then they're like, wait, but for real though? (laughs) (laughs) If you just say anything confidently enough, they'll believe you. Yeah. It's like, you know, just, uh, it's how you rob banks. You just go in confidently. You just take the money. You just walk out. And people are like, yeah, that was probably a staff member or something. You just go in and you, you go into the bank and you just start laughing. Like you're on a laugh track for a TV show. You're like, oh, are you the guy? Are you the laugh track man? Yeah. That's right. It's me, the laugh track guy that they have for every episode of every show yeah. ever. Like, no autographs. Because your voice is yeah, all please. messed up. Yeah. Water. Water. I need money for health insurance. Water. You come out and you're just like, I don't want to sign anything. <laughs> yeah. 
That's a. Uh... Hey, you're that guy from the. You're the vo- You're the uh, laugh track guy. Do do the laugh. No do flash photography, laugh. please. Please, I can't. please no. <laughs> Don't condemn me to this hell. I need to remain anonymous to protect my family. <laughs> do you think whenever his like his family tries to make him laugh, like please, I'm off the clock. Right, like I don't want to laugh right now. I don't want to mix work and family together. <laughs> yeah, they like tell him a joke, and he goes, "It's not funny." Whoa, it's not funny. Do you think if being held hostage for long enough as a like laugh track guy for like a bad show like The Big Bang Theory, do you think like eventually you develop a form of Stockholm syndrome where you actually start finding it? Oh funny? no, well, I, yeah, dude. Like after seven seasons, like you must. I a hundred percent believe like if you became like this laugh track man, like the association like I'm laughing. It's like, so I must think this is funny. Even like, you know, there's like... A, it's like a... Pa- that's a, that's almost a Pavlovian effect. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's just an association that you unconsciously make. You know? You would eventually actually All start right. thinking Big Bang Theory is funny. Man, that sucks. You know what? I think... God, I think sucks. this actually... I think this actually segues into my law. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Um... Also, because we're at 10 minutes now, if we want to keep it a tight 30. Yeah, we sure do. We're staying on top of it this time, boys. Go, Sam. Yeah. So, read your this law. Is, comes to us. This comes to us do from West Virginia. <laughs> specifically. Please don't prolong Specifically, this. Nicholas County, West Virginia. In Nicholas County, West Virginia, okay. no member of the clergy is allowed to tell jokes or humorous stories from the pulpit during a church service. No enjoyment. Humor yeah. is no Satan. jokes. The Bible says that laugh is God smite. Jokes. Like, let me see if they have a full text of the law for this. A pulp. Because, like, that means your priest can't be like, "Oh yeah, this one scripture reminds me of this real funny story my friend Dave and I got up to." Because usually, then just like usually, the people not, presenting that not, stuff are pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like. If this man tries to tell a joke while he's giving a religious service, not only does the FBI drop SWAT teams through those like really fancy stained glass windows that every church seems to have, yeah. but also the the SWAT team from heaven and hell also oh. bursts through. Oh my god! Damn. Heaven and hell? Yeah, they they hate they hate this. They made this law because they're so passionate about this law that they've like, okay, we're gonna team up to fight like a bigger evil. Yeah, like this is this is. Do bigger you think than it was because like jokes are not allowed in the church, or do you think it was because like just no member of the clergy is funny, or do you think it was one like really bad joke, just one specific joke that what? people were like, "Whoa, Derek, like, dude," it's, you're like, I "Oh my god." <laughs> I think. I would like to hear the damnation huh. joke. You want to hear a joke? You want to hear a joke? Yeah, sure. The Bible that this dude has for in uh, fucking Nicholas County, West Virginia. That's right. It's like 101 Christian jokes, and he just has that instead of a Bible. <laughs> like he put off doing an actual sermon just to read his original jokes. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jesus is a part of those jokes. Yeah, I bet he is. My first girlfriend's church was wild. Oh. Like, oh. that was some shit. The pastor would, like, get on, like, bungee cords and, like, fly through the audience. What? No. And, like, no, that's not true. Yeah, no, it is There's true. There's no way. No. No, yeah, like, he went on, like, the suspension wires and, like, flew around. All right. And he also did three backflips every every couple minutes just to keep people intrigued. And he intrigued. did, did sick, sick 360s on his skateboard. Oh, yeah. Well, he didn't do any of those, but he genuinely did, like, fly over everyone. <laughs> he, I do not believe this. <laughs> what kind of Peter Pan Fucking, ass All right, all right y'all met this? her. Y'all know her. I'll give you her number. Y'all can text her. No, I, I, don't, I know the, who you're talking about. Did the pastor fly I, around in the church and she'll say, yes, the pastor did that every now and again. Once a year Every on this now, whatever again, holiday that's it was. More often than it should happen. There's proof. Every year on Easter Sunday. I don't remember what fucking holiday it was or what the context of it was. But <laughs> it's shit that happened. It just flew in. Like we have this bungee system. We're gonna use it. Yeah. 
Like, we didn't pay thousands of dollars for this to not use this. He should have done it every single time. I don't know why he didn't. <laughs> oh, man. But, Cyan, the real question is, did he make jokes? No, he told jokes. Like, dude, this fucking church was weird as shit. Like, we, like, raved. So he told jokes, which means he needs to be arrested. No, they all told jokes. Both. They all need Heaven to go to hell. hell. Well, this was in Texas, Sam, oh. where the law, there's no law against it. Yeah, this was wrote <laughs> Texas, this where... not an American law. You are re revealing a lot of personal information. No, we don't live in throat. throat. That's just the church. I that know we, we don't, but like. Well, then redact, redact the, the name the and then redact the church. I'm just trying to prove to y'all that this really happened and I can give you contact information of people who can be my alibi. If I can find a video of it. It's just like. I'll put it in like the YouTube <sighs> or Twitter link or whatever. So clearly the man who got arrested in, jo in West Virginia for telling too many jokes with his 101 good Christian jokes. Yeah book instead of the bible gave it to this man and the man was like all right let's crank it up to 11 and add fucking spider-man the musical ass shit into it <laughs> did he ever fall off one of the bungee sign <laughs> no but i was gonna say uh, instead of censoring out thrissy earlier just censor out the name of her and the church with that one audio of you saying throat yeah with th throat. <laughs> throat yeah okay it's throat <laughs> y'all like, i'll give you throat number <laughs> <laughs> no, the church was in throat. Throat. <laughs> <laughs> and no one's good. It's not going to make sense in to anyone until they get to like the 17 minute mark. Yeah, they'll have to listen for like another explain. minute and a half to be like, oh, look, we're not looking. We're not looking for partial viewers. We're looking for full. You have to time. listen till the end. <laughs> yeah, you got to you got to go back to episode one for all the lore. I mean, if you want to understand that whole aspect, we have a subtle plot. That's roaming through all these 22 episodes. Yeah, and then eventually it's going to like hit and everything's going to change. And then it's going to be a completely different podcast that's going to be story driven. Little did you know, Thought Sauna was actually an elaborate ruse for an ARG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, we hope you've been catching all, your se all the secret numbers. <laughs> you have to be looking at the visuals. Yeah, you have to be seeing yeah. the show. You have to be... You have to be looking at the at the waveforms and then like overlap them. You have to turn the MP3 into. We're giving a... you hints for this because it's taking you so damn long to find. Yeah, y'all are fucking dumb. We're supposed to be like halfway through the story now. We can't even get started because y'all aren't noticing the hints that we're obviously dropping. Y'all yeah. are the worst audience ever. <laughs> Seriously, could y'all suck any more at listening? Oh my god. Literally the key. The key is send in a dream. That's it. If you send if one person send in a dream, yeah. then like the key unlocks and then we like go to the dungeon. Like literally that's all y'all have to do. And it's been months and y'all haven't done it. We've been making this podcast for like months now. Well, what if there's what if there's yeah, like man. a secret project like What a good couple of months it's been. Don't give thought Sona anything. It's they, like they're trending too on Twitter. <laughs> They'll get too yeah. powerful if you give them any attention. It's the CIA. You can't do it. That's the only reason we're not famous yet, guys. It's the CIA blocking blocking us from the public. Yeah. The church, ARG. Autom Arg. Automated. Arg. Augmented really? reality girls. Reality game. <laughs> I have some augmented reality for y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, it's called a dream. Um, wait, real quick. Do you guys know about the, uh, ARG that's going on with, like, the fucking porn bots on Tumblr? I don't think no. so. No. Apparently, there's been, like, a guy who's been, like, going around and, and making blogs that look almost exactly like what a porn bot, bot does on there. Mm -hmm. But it's just slightly off because every so often they'll have, like, code scattered throughout it and someone finally finished it. And the ending thing, like, they went through all these different things, and the ending thing was the code, the code finally, like, was cracked, and it spelled out, you've done it, send me some money, this is my Venmo. Yes, I did see that. I, this guy, this guy, like, goes through this rabbit hole of, like, binary and, like, different codes. Oh my god. He's, like, translating, deciphering, like, going from YouTube to Tumblr, and Tumblr to, like, Twitter, and Twitter to, like... Just all these platforms, and it's just a lame message like that. Like you did it, give me money. Yeah. That sucks. I thought it. Was, I honestly thought it was well, gonna be. Well, there's a, there's a, I think there's <laughs> another one going on right now that 
there's another one going on right now that has something to do with like angels and demons, dude. Whoa. It's the Da Vinci and that Code. That one hasn't been solved yet. It's been Jesus going for Christ. almost a month. Oh my god. All right, we are down to nine minutes. This has no context. Right. We are going to come up with the context. Okay. It's like Jeopardy. We have to provide the the question. I saved the world from ants by throwing away a moldy coffee cup. What is Ant Man? <laughs> what is so? The coffee cup was a sacred artifact that's been around for years. Uh, the answers have to stay under twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going for more of an Indiana Jones type. Well, I'm thing. thinking that like, why did the, throwing away one moldy coffee cup save the entire world from ants? Like, are ants like giant and invading? And like, like what is it? Like, why did why did throwing away this coffee cup save the entire world from the ant menace? Well, I, mean, I just want to know the story. Well, here's the thing, y'all. You know, Brett, the, I think those bullet ants finally made their way to world domination up. in this. Be quiet. Sam forced me to watch this video of a dude getting bit by a bullet ant. And it Why? Was, I, 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 Not I, bit, I, stung. And it was for educational purposes. What kind of education? It was terrible. To know to how look painful at. it is. This guy got bit, like, by the most painful insects stingers or whatever and he, he just goes through each one he's just like puts it on his arm and you see like close-ups of them and they're like hairy you know and they got like this two teeth you know they got like the fucking the, like alien looking uh, 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 yeah, 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 that's watch terrible it. and good and then when he did finally get stung by the bullet ant it got stuck in his arm for a solid couple seconds <sighs> that sucks that sucks I hate that you told me that. I hate that I have to know that. I hate that I have to know that that ant exists and is real. I just wanted to talk about this, this fun dream. I just wanted to build this world and write a story with y'all. No, y Cyan, this ant is all... This I don't want to hear about this bullet. fucking ant. No, this... <laughs> the bullet ant is like at least two inches wide. Stop or like two inches describing long. it to me. <laughs> You're making it's it like worse than my awful. imagination's making it. No, and here's the no. thing. No! Here's the There's thing. no thing! You can stop! We can stop! No. You don't have to elaborate! Here's Sam's Sam's cultural facts of the day! No, this episode like, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, so like, the bullet ant is called that because it's it's supposedly so painful to be, to be stung by yes. it that like... We know! It, it feels like you're getting shot by a bullet. Anyway, let's talk about this moldy coffee cup, no, though. There's no, one we gotta more, talk about one, the moldy coffee no, cup. We only Cyan. have seven minutes! Right, and I'm gonna tell you that in some in some tribes in that culture, part of their like coming of age ceremony stop, is making stop, someone wear stop. a glove we don't want made this. of bullet ants, and they in the get other stung room. throughout the day. Sign is gone. Sign is left. <laughs> Nobody wants this information. I don't need to know if they put their hand in like a, an ant pile or something to become a man. No I don't want to know Sina that. Incorporated needs to know <laughs> about two inch wide. Ants. That, that no, feel like they bullets. Put, they, they, make a, they make a glove out of the ants and wear I, it for like several I hours. I don't want to know that, Sam. <laughs> we try. We try to veer the topic, but you will not let up. People want to learn, and I'm here to help educate. Do it somewhere else. I don't want to hear it with my ears. Well, you already did. Welcome back to Lore with Sam, except instead of lore, it's just terrible, <laughs> terrible facts. And Brett, guess what? You're probably going to have to hear it again when you go through this oh, episode to I'm edit I'm editing it. this out. This is going to be a 20-minute episode. No, you can't. You can't, hey. you can't, you can't. Hey, you know what, though? Brett, I'll make it easy for you. Yeah. Hey, I have an augmented reality. <laughs> what? <laughs> so here's the dream that I found. <laughs> <laughs> this is no. gonna be much easier you when I'm I want to. I want to have the context for this. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> make the context. Yeah, that's exactly what is gonna happen, and that's what I want to do. And why I chose this dream is to build a world and not talk about this other unrelated creature. Well, now I'm glad that that kid destroyed all the ants. I'm very glad. Well, it explains why people would want to save the world from ants by like describing what this bullet ant is capable of. I, you, I, I already didn't care. Okay, I didn't like, care what, much for them in the first place. I still don't know what the moldy coffee cup means and why it's important God, to the story. This is what's important. What, it's it's just as important things you do see 
like things you don't see are just as important. What is in the coffee cup? Because it's moldy and it's coffee cup, but what's in there? And like, right. how long has it been? A, like, what is like? Why is it the catalyst for this destruction? And why is simply throwing it out the thing that changes the world? Like, what does it mean? It's Sonic the Hedgehog. The ants were born from the mold. The mold oh. was spreading through the air and making ants all giant and huge. So they needed to get rid of the moldy coffee cup. So they threw it away and the trash bag. They, you know, they use hefty, Three. hefty, hefty. So like the smell doesn't come <laughs> so out. So nothing's getting out of there. <laughs> yeah. This episode Three of foot. Thoughts on It is brought to you by hefty uh, trash bags. Buy them. It'll make ants not attack you. I need you to hear me out on this. If it's about the bullet ant, no. I swear Three to God. Three foot large bullet ant. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. You speaking of bugs, you know what freaked me out as a kid? What? Ooh. I don't care! I don't want to know! Hey, bring a towel to Thought Sauna or else you're going to get sweaty and not be no. able to have anything to clean we it up. Three minutes left. You're torturing me. You know that me. fucking scene from the mummy movies where like there's the bug in the dude and it's like crawling around? No! Oh, that was the worst! And I yeah, hated it, it and it still it freaks me out. Sam, we're all getting food after this. We're all supposed to go get meals after this. <laughs> I know. Then why are like you doing about... this? Why, Sam? Why, Steve? Why, Stimpy? <laughs> One million dollars and you won't stop talking about bullet ants, <laughs> That one wasn't about bullet ants. It was about scarabs. I will, ah! I will give you... I'll give you an oints point. Hey guys, remember oints points? I'll no, give you an I'll, I'll give you an oints point if you stop talking about your crappy no, knowledge no, about no, insects. No, no, then then he no, because then you're gonna train him to think, oh, if I say shitty things, then I'm gonna get oints points for the stopping. You can't do that. Yeah, fucking yeah. you're not gonna get any <laughs> oints points ever again. You're now banned from oints points. That's not that's not fair. I'm subtracting an oints that's point. Not. Next time you say some mess i don't want to hear about ants or insects or some other crazy disgusting disturbing stuff i'm 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 retracting annoyance points from you that's just what's happening this episode of thought sauna will be titled sam makes brett and cyan lose it be sam loses an oint point and it'll be sam loses two friends <laughs> Sam loses his lifelong friends. Over Sam ants. ruins his entire life in a span of three minutes <laughs> by talking about an ant. <laughs> that's what was. That's what was in the coffee mug. It was a miniature version of Sam. It was a bug version of Sam ta- telling bugs all these terrible human facts. Like, yeah, there are humans out there that are eight feet tall and they they spray ants in their free time, like with water guns. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to hear this. And that's what got rid of them. <laughs> Yo, you know that like sometimes like the smaller ones, like the ones that are only like a few feet tall or whatever, will come and like have these magnifying glasses and will just burn us alive, dude. Like no, dude. Dude, I, no, like, dude. It happened no, to dude, my my granddad's first sale. girlfriend. It happened to her. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did, dude. No, uh... Yeah, it did. And I know this guy. He's a fifth grader, and dude, like his dad died like a year ago because of it. That's crazy, dude. That's that's insane. And you know what? He could have prevented Sometimes. it if he just brought a towel. Well, why would he bring a towel? Because <laughs> then he would get too sweaty with me and my sweaty boys here in the Thought Sauna. Brad, I've given you enough time. This is... We are on Gmail. We are on Twitch. Yeah, we're on Twitch. We're two seconds Discord. over the mark. We fucked up. Are we, we on the Twitch? Oh, man. We're not on Twitch. Discord, Twitter, <clears throat> Facebook, YouTube. Email us your thoughts, your laws, your dreams, and we will gladly take them. Or join us on the Discord. Or join us on the Discord. Let's Come have a hang talk. Out. Let's we'll have a conversation. F- let's be friends. And Just not talk friends. about yeah. insects let's be friends. Yeah. for a while. <laughs> You're going to need to cut out about 30 seconds. Any last words, Sam? Nah. Uh, sweaty ants. Uh, me going on E621 and looking up sweaty ants. All right. And it cut it cut 15 we minutes done. ago.